In birding, one of the more common identification disputes can occur between whether a bird is a cooper's hawk or a sharp-shinned hawk. Both these birds have long banded tails, similar color patterns in juvenile and adult birds, often live in similar habitats, and are known for being notoriously difficult to tell apart. Frequently seen in forest or urban spaces, these cunning predators may also be found right in your backyard, stalking bird feeders for their next meal. The range of the Cooper's Hawk covers more of the United States year-round, with sharp shinned hawks more frequently being seen in a wider range of areas in the winter. So what's the best way to tell these two species apart? Gather as many different ID features as possible. Both adult sharp shinned and Cooper's Hawks will have gray-blue backs with rufous and white barring on their chests and red eyes. One of the more distinctive differences in adults is that the sharp shinned hawk will often appear hooded with a dark nape, while the Cooper's hawk will appear capped with a light nape. Next, let's talk about features that only apply to juveniles. Juveniles of both species have brown backs with white spots, brown streaks on their chest, and yellow eyes. The most reliable color field mark is that the streaking on the chest is normally lighter and larger in sharp shinned hawks, and may also appear more blurry, and is thinner and more defined in Cooper's hawks. The streaking may also not go down as far on the lower stomach in Cooper's. Now let's move on to features that apply to adult and juvenile birds. In general, sharp shinned hawks will be smaller than Cooper's hawks, with the average individual measuring about 12 and a half inches and the average Cooper's hawk measuring about 16 and a half inches. However, females are larger than males in both species, and a large female sharp shinned hawk can be about the same size as a small male Cooper's hawk. In general, if the bird seems very small, about blue jay sized or smaller for sharp shin, or very large, about crow sized or larger for Cooper's, then size can be used fairly reliably. Another field mark present in both adults and juveniles is body shape and head size. Sharp shinned hawks will appear to not have much of a neck with a small rounded head. Cooper's hawks will appear to have a large blocky head. This feature can also be noticed in flight. The general body shape of a sharp shinned hawk will also appear barrel chested with smaller hips, making the bird look top heavy. The Cooper's hawk body shape will be more tubular, with the center of gravity more near the middle of the body. Additionally, in adults and juveniles, sharp shinned hawks will appear to have longer, thinner legs than Cooper's hawks, and the eye on the sharp shinned hawk may appear closer to the middle of the head, where in the Cooper's it may appear closer to the front of the head, although this can be subjective. I've also heard it be said that sharp shinned hawks sometimes appear more bug eyed, while Cooper's hawks can appear more fierce. Additionally, if you get a clear view of the tail, this can also assist with ID. In general, Cooper's hawks will have tail feathers that appear more rounded at the tips, where they are more squared off in the sharp shinned hawk. This can be deceiving depending on your view of the tail, how spread out the feathers are, and if any feathers are missing. Sometimes, it also appears that there is a notch in the tail of the sharp shinned hawk, which would be less pronounced or absent in Cooper's hawks. There can also be differences in the amount of white on the tail feather tips. Cooper's hawks may have a broader white band on the end of the tail feathers, while sharp shinned hawks may show a thinner white band, but this can be worn off the feathers, which makes it difficult to use this feature reliably. In flight, the Cooper's hawk will often fly with slower wing beats before gliding. Sharp shinned hawks may have a more erratic looking flight, with faster wing beats before gliding. In summary, an adult sharp shinned hawk will normally appear smaller with almost no neck, a broad chest, a small hooded head, dark nape, long thin legs, eyes closer to the middle of the head, and a squared off tail with a thin white tip. In flight, they may also appear more erratic. Cooper's hawks will generally be larger with a large capped head, normal neck, tubular appearance, thicker legs, eyes closer to the beak, and rounded tail feathers with a thicker white band at the end. Their wing beats in flight may also appear slower. Juvenile sharp chin hawks will have streaking on the chest that appears almost blurry, while Cooper's hawks will have finer, more defined streaking with possibly less on the lower stomach. While you're out in the field, try to note as many ID features as you can and get photos when in doubt. 
In the end, it's always okay to mark the bird down as a cooper slash sharp shinned hawk. This is a tricky ID, but hopefully with these tips, you'll be armed with the best knowledge about differentiating these two species. I do also want to mention a few other birds that can be confused with coopers or sharp shinned hawks. Make sure to rule them out during your identifications. The first bird is the merlin. Merlins are small falcons that will have dark eyes, a compact body, a shorter tail, and vertical streaking on the stomach. Oftentimes, a dark mustache stripe and light eyebrow can also be seen. Also make sure to rule out other hawk species. Good luck and thanks for watching this episode of ID Tips. Thank <music> you.